The European Union Cooperation Without Borders. Since the signing of the Maastricht Treaty in 1992 and the creation of the Schengen Free Movement Area, for many European citizens, frontiers and borders are a thing of the past. But each European state preciously maintains its language, its individuality, its laws, its social policies within its official borders. Those differences are all the more visible along the geographical lines between the member states, the EU's internal frontiers, where more than 200 million European citizens live, one in three Europeans. As they crisscross the block, these transfrontier zones are at the heart of the EU's Interreg programme, set up in 1990 by the European Commission to boost zones that are spread across two or more countries. Interreg's ambitions are to overcome the border between countries, like providing training for multilingual nurseries or building hospitals that straddle two countries and deal with different social security policies. For the period 2021 to 2027, the current Interreg programme totals 8 billion euros drawn from the ERDF. For example, 2 million to build a pipeline under the Rhine to carry excess industrial heat from Kell in Germany to more than 7,000 homes in Strasbourg on the French side of the river. And it provides 5 million euros for the JEDI programme, which aims to facilitate the movement of skilled labour between Romania and Hungary and boost the local jobs market. Then there's the 59.6 million euros for the Alcotra projects in the French and Italian Alpine region to mitigate the effects of climate change and protect biodiversity. But not all the obstacles between regions can be overcome. Sometimes legal differences or geostrategic disputes are too entrenched. Efforts to create an interreg programme between the islands of Mayotte and Madagascar have so far proved fruitless. 